In this video, I am going to show you how you can install Open Interpreter locally on your Linux or on your Windows instance and then how can you play around with it. So let's get started. For this one, I am going to use my trusted Ubuntu terminal and my Ubuntu release is 22.04. Let me quickly show you. So this is my Ubuntu at the moment and now let's install open interpreter in order to install it all you need to do is to do pip install open dash interpreter you don't need to uh, uh, put that dash upgrade if it, this is the first time you're installing it but i think i already installed it a few months back so i'm just upgrading this one so let's wait for it to get installed and you can use the same command on your linux system too you can ignore this pip warning and let's clear the screen. Let me show you my open interpreter version quickly. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. So I'm using point two version. So open interpreter two is installed as you can see. Now there are two ways of running this. One, you can run it with chat GPT. For that, you would have to set your open AI's API key locally here by doing export, or you can use it with any of the open source models. For this demo, I am, will be using OpenAI's API key and in the background it is going to use ChatGPT4. But in the next video, I will also be showing you how you can use it with any open source model including the quantized one. Now for this one, let's uh, fire up our interpreter. I already have set my uh, OpenAI's API key, API key. In order to set, uh, fire up this interpreter, all we need to do is to type this interpreter and then wait. There you go. It says welcome to open interpreter open AI API key not found okay i think i need to set it okay let me exit from here and i will set it by exporting my open AI key and then i will uh, clear the screen because i don't want to share my api key just give me a sec okay so i have set my open interpreter api key open AI is api key and now let me run the interpreter again I'm just saying interpreter and there you go. So it this time it says that model set to GPT-4 and open interpreter will require approval before running code. And then uh, we can press control C to exit. Now let's play around with it. I'm just going to ask it uh, what is my operating system and what's its version. And we already saw this earlier in the video what it was. So let's see. let's say yes and there you go cool and now it is going to fetch the version of our operating system the flavor and you see that it is auto correcting itself because it is replicating that there you go so to retrieve the specific version it is showing us this thing now look at the intelligence because this uh, it didn't uh, provided us this command before so it's not running it now if we don't want it to ask us why uh, yes or no we can simply use the uh, inter fire up interpreter by doing interpreter dash y but let's not do it i'm just going to ask it what is the current share price of nvidia there you go it's a code interpreter so it is going to get the all the code required in order to get that share price and it is asking us to install the request package um, okay let's install the requests package let's see if it installs it or not yes it says it's already installed cool let's now query the alpha vintage api okay go ahead Okay, so it says that it cannot run the live API call, but it is giving us the whole code as how can we do it. Okay, 
and there you go so and you can get it easily uh, by just running this code and now let me ask it one more question I'm going to ask it give me the code to create a simple GPT and also monetize it let's see what it does and you can see how quickly and how accurately it is producing the code with all the commands and stuff so there you go it has produced the full-blown application for me in just few I mean few seconds okay now let me try to control my keyboard with this open interpreter can you press key F on my keyboard let's see okay okay write a code to press key F on my keyboard on this server and execute the code let's see Yeah, you can see that it has given us the whole code, but it has also told us um, the limitations too. Amazing stuff. So you can see that how easy it is to not only install this um, open interpreter locally, and but also how easy it is to start using it. So huge kudos to the contributors and uh, creator of this project. Now, for this one, we have used ChatGPT, but in the next video, I'm going to show you how easy it is even to use it with open source models like Mistral or any other model from Hugging Face or any other open source model. That's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're stuck anywhere, let me know and I'll be happy to help. One thing I want to mention that I'm using one GPU on my laptop. But if even if you don't have GPU, don't worry about it. You can even run it on CPU. So that's a very good thing. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network. Thank you very much.